In news, my lovely, wonderful people, not be smart in Apple today, so we call it exclusive, exclusive, G- CGN, Arowolo, disguised on wheelchair in London Hotel for secret meeting with Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In case you are wondering, that's the man there. And um, the plan is that they need to look into what Peter will be, the matter Peter will be has put together, you know, the petition, the tribunal, they need to look at it very well. I know that they cannot discuss in Nigeria. Nigeria has no place of discussion. It has to be down there in the UK. So they've gone there to discuss and to look at things and to see, you know, what could be done, how they could maneuver this thing. Because if it was just Nigeria, that would have been okay. Now, Peter Obi has gone on and has involved the world. Okay, US. When US joined, I be game over. I would say they call game over, you know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Exclusive CGN Aruwolo disguises on wheelchair in London hotel for secret meeting with Bola Ahmed Tinubu. A uh, Supreme Court source said Mr. Aruwolo wanted to meet Mr. Tinubu to discuss issues that may arise from the legal challenges that Peter Obi has put on him. Chief Justice Ola Kayode Aruwolo has been cited in London pretending to be a fiscally challenged old man. People Glazier lands today in what Supreme Court source said was a will was a clarinting preparation for a meeting with President elect Ashiwaju Ahmed Bolatinobo. Mr. Aruwolo's movement was exposed to the Glazier as Tinubu was arriving in London for what his team claimed was a relaxation trip after a hectic campaign that preceded his declaration as president-elect last month. But Mr. Tinubu kept his trip to London secret until it was exposed on Wednesday afternoon by Sahar reporters, which said the trip was for medical emergency. The people Glazier learned that Mr. Rowolo departed Nigeria on March the 11th via Nandi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. He was pushed on a wheelchair through the terminal to board a British Airway flight, as source has said. On arrival in London, Mr. Rowolo, 64 years old, was also wheeled into a hotel downtown where he had remained ever since. But immediately after checking into the hotel, Mr. Rowolo abandoned his wheelchair and started moving around the facility unaided. The Supreme Court head is not known with any physical disability. The disguise was to make sure that he met with Tinubu. He had been moving about in the hotel without any wheelchair. A source familiar with the CGN activities at the London accommodation to the glacier. He was standing on his own in the elevator just yesterday. The people of the Zia learned that Mr. Rowolo reportedly, reportedly picked up food order via delivery service at a mid-level mid lobby, including Uber Eats and delivery. It was unclear whether or not he placed the order himself or how he paid. With Mr. Tinubu now in Europe, he would be meeting Mr. Rowolo in a secret arrangement to discuss issues unknown to Nigerians, our source has said. The CBN deliberately left the country more than a week ahead of Tinubu to avoid suspicion about anyone. Why both of them disappeared at once? A source familiar said this is why he traveled secretly and Tinubu also traveled secretly. The legal cases are seriously on with Peter Obi's own bringing up a serious challenge. Shortly after Mr. Tinubu's trip was reported, the media aid issued a statement saying he was he was going to Paris and London briefly before heading to Saudi Arabia for prayer rites. His return date was not yet known and has not been disclosed. But many Nigerians expressed 
immediate doubt about the statement credibility especially as it was not volunt it was not volunteered before the trip or let known and was not uncovered until people found out they th thought that they could secretly move the president abroad without anyone knowing about it as so said that's one of the several mistakes they made on this matter they should have made it known and no eyes would be on them the matter on Mark Grant now is the Peter Obis case, which is now involving the U.S. This is a serious issue. So whether you like it or not, you know, our very own brother has issues, you know, and then um, this is really tearing him apart. In case you are not aware, what he thought was a child's play is no longer that child's play. No, it's no longer that child's play. It's now a serious case, like seriously serious and it just needs to begin to own up to what, you know, the possibilities are. Uh, there are serious issues right now. You know, the man left Nigeria pretending to be on a wheelchair. And even after pretending, he could not keep up, got to London. He has forgotten that a good fish finds it very difficult to hide. So whatever I was trying to hide, we don't know, but... Um, he has just showed himself the red card with the actions he has taken. So every single person is watching carefully to see how these things are lining up. We cannot continue with business as usual and expect a different result. If we want something change, if we want things to become different, hey, the time to arise, you know, not to allow the same thing to hold us down is now. Do you understand a, a, a pinch of what is happening? These are some of the issues going on. And Nigerians, we are tired of people who are full of deceit and not really telling us the truth. We want change and we want it now. So these are some of the things that are happening. These are some of the things that are going on. And it's about time we begin to align and ensure that nobody takes over that which belongs to us. Our mandate and our place we must maintain in order for us to be able to get, you know, the dawn of a new day and ensure we do that which is nice and necessary to move us forward. Nigerians, let's wake up. Okay, let's wake up to the reality that this is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.